So today we're learning about supersaturation. Supersaturation refers to a solution that has more dissolved material than a solvent can actually dissolve itself. For example, we have Diet Coke. Now Diet Coke has bubbles in it because of the carbon dioxide. And when we open the cap, more bubbles will form because carbon dioxide slowly leaves the bottle. Alright, and then when we add Mentos, all the carbon dioxide is released at once, forming the Diet Coke and Mentos eruption. Kids, do not try this at home. It's pretty dangerous. And, and that's that super saturation. saturation. <laughs> Next we're going to learn about supercooling. Supercooling is when you cool a solution past its freezing point, but it doesn't freeze because there's nothing to stimulate the reaction. To show this we're going to use sodium acetate. You make, you make sodium acetate by mixing vinegar and baking soda, and that's what we have right here. What I did was I boiled it down past its melting, or er, to get only the solid left over, and then I melted the solid down so it's like this in a liquid form. This is hot right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this in an ice water bath and just to cool it down past its freezing point and it's not going to freeze and we're going to see what happens when we stimulate the reaction. So now we've cooled our solution of sodium acetate and it's cooled down way past its freezing point because it's a solid at room temperature and it's almost below the freezing point of water right now. Um, so what we have here is it wants to it wants to freeze it should be frozen but it's not because the molecules can't uh, rearrange themselves in crystal form so to stimulate this reaction we're gonna introduce some sodium acetate crystals so now we'll see what happens when you add the sodium acetate crystals As you can see, it's freezing and hardening very slowly, but it's freezing. So, there we have hot ice. Now, you can't feel it, but it's uh, well above room temperature, probably around like 40 degrees Celsius. And we can heat this up again if we want, and it'll melt. And if we cool it, it will it will not freeze, and it'll super cool, so that we can do this instant ice again. That's hot ice. So I reheated the sodium acetate and super cooled it again. We're gonna just show one more time uh, what happens when you uh, trigger the, the freezing and this time we're going to do it my favorite way which is sculpting so we're going to put a couple sodium acetate crystals at the bottom for the solution to freeze around and we're going to pour it This is an exothermic reaction, so uh, its freezing point is around 50 degrees Celsius and it was cooled way below room temperature, so when it freezes it moves towards its freezing point, so we have hot ice.